Hey, welcome back all you backyard gridders. So it's been a long time since we uploaded a wing video and 4th of July is right around the corner. And uh, why not, right? So we were talking about maybe uploading a video with uh, three different varieties or flavors if you would. So for today, we're gonna do the classic buffalo. We're using Frank's uh, red hot wing sauce. We're gonna season it with seasoned, uh, seasoned salt. We're gonna do a lemon pepper version and we're gonna do a Mexican style version, okay? If you don't know what this is, achiote is a very popular spice in Mexico. It's used a lot, guys. If you've never tried it, Google it. You can find it just about anywhere. These days, they make it in this powder form. I've been using this powder for a while. Very, very delicious, guys. So what we have here is two packages of chicken wings. We're gonna get them out of the package and then we're gonna put them in some aluminum pans. We're gonna show you what we do next. Very simple process, guys. All right guys, so the first one up is the classic buffalo. And like I said, we're just using this seasoned salt. This is from Fiesta, in case you're interested. You can use whatever you want. Now, don't go too heavy guys, because the Frank's wing sauce has some sodium in it. So take it easy. Okay, up next is the lemon pepper. Guys, if you have a chance, check out this Don Juan's lemon pepper out of Laredo, Texas, beautiful city. Check them out. And no, it's not a sponsored video, FYI. Just sing. If you notice, I'm not even using a binder, guys. they stick pretty good. Now these you do want to go a little bit heavier on the spice because you're going for that lemon pepper profile. Make sure everything is coated. You know, you want every bite to be nice and delicious. Next one, the last one is the Mexican style one. Yeah, chote seasoning. Did you open this? Yeah, you did. This one you want to go a little bit heavier also. You can smell it, right? It smells so good. Mm, yeah. You can smell the, the spices. It has a lot of, actually it doesn't have a lot of spices. They're just strong spices but very delicious. This is the first time we make these Mexican style wing guys, by the way. But I'm anticipating that they're gonna be very delicious. We've cooked a lot of chicken with it. Very, very good. Pork. And there you have it guys, nice and easy. Three styles, check it out. This is gonna be the classic buffalo again. There's gonna be the lemon pepper. There's gonna be the Mexican style wings. They're all gonna taste different, but they're all gonna be super delicious. But how simple was that guys? You don't have to break your back. Let's go. All right guys, so we're out in the backyard and it's the backyard griller. And today, for today's cook, we're using our old timer pit boss pellet grill. It's the 820B, bare bones pellet grill. No uh, Wi-Fi, none of that stuff, but very, very reliable. So for today's wood pellets, we're using the B&B Mesquite pellets. I really like those pellets. They're very consistent, very low uh, powder. They're always intact, so hey, if it ain't broke, I fix it, right? So let's get the wings inside the grill and I'll tell you what I do next. Oh, by the way, I already have the grill set at 250 degrees. Now I'm gonna explain something uh, that we're doing different uh, in a little bit, so give me a few seconds. Okay guys, so as you can see, all the wings are already on the pit and I used to start the wings at 200 degrees for about 30 to 45 minutes 
just so they can get some more flavor. But with today's pellets, I mean, they've evolved so much and my pit is, it's older, it's very well seasoned. I really don't need to do that anymore. So I do bump it up to 250 degrees so we can get some smoke on them. And we're gonna do it for about roughly 40, 45 minutes. And then we're gonna crank up that heat and show you how we uh, finish them up, guys, all right? So we'll be back. So 40 minutes at 250 degrees, and look at that, we didn't hurt them at all. You can just tell that they changed color uh, slightly, and that just means they're taking on smoke very well. Chicken always takes smoke on very well. Now what we're gonna do, guys, I'm gonna crank it up to 350 degrees, and we're gonna pull out the secret weapon. Well, it's not really a secret weapon, I'm gonna use it every course. <laughs> so this is what we do, we start spraying, all the wings, we coat them with butter. All of them, guys. And then we're going to flip them around. all the wings as you can see, see I uh, did a little bit of uh, change just so they could cook evenly so remember we we packed up the grill to 350 degrees so at this point we gotta watch them a little bit closer because 350 degrees is gonna put a little bit of burn on them all right so that we're gonna check these at about 25 minutes we'll see how they do Guys, okay, so I just realized that I did show you that I use, I called it the secret weapon. It's just spray butter from uh, any old store. Why do I use the spray butter, guys? The spray butter will help the wings get that golden color and to obtain that crispy skin that we all love on, on wings. So that is the reason why I use it. I've used it for years and it works very, very well, guys. All right guys, so I had to adjust the temperature. I had it at 350 degrees and it was a little too hot. But as you see here, the achote tends to look like it's, like it's burning. It's not, that's just that's just the way it gets when you grill it a little bit higher. These are not, these are not burned at all. They're, they're a little charred, but char is good flavor. So again, they start getting uh, this little golden color. And this is what you want to see. Lemon pepper, achote, classic buffalo guys. So it was, 15 minutes because I remember I had it at 350 degrees, but don't do what I did, crank it up to 300 degrees. All right, we'll be back. Okay guys, so I pulled the achote, the, the Mexican style wings off the smoker. And what you do is you wanna add a little bit more of that spray butter. And then you wanna hit them with a little bit more of that achote, just a little bit, just sprinkle it. And then just let them, let them set. We're going, to, we're going to go get the other wings and then we'll be right back. All right, guys, so we're going to pull the lamb and pepper. Okay, guys, so we're going to pull the lamb and pepper. They smell fantastic. Let's go inside, pot. Okay, same operation, lemon pepper wings. Soak them in butter. Hit them with some more lemon pepper. Just a light dust, guys. And you can toss them a little bit if you want. Classic. And last but not least, guys, the classic wings. See 
know they look nice and golden? Look, listen to this. See if you can hear it. That's crispy. Now be realistic, guys. You're not gonna get deep fryer crisp on a, on a, on a smoker. Be realistic. But you'll get them very close. Let's take them inside and then we'll come back and show you what we do. But one more thing, guys, I almost forgot. While we go inside and I show you the final step, crank it down to, two, to uh, 250 degrees because we're just going to set the sauce. And I'll show you what, what I'm talking about. Let's go inside and then we'll come right back outside. All right, guys, so these are the classic wings that we were talking about. And what I did is I melted uh, half a cup of regular butter. It is salted butter. I didn't have the unsalted butter, but that's okay. You're not going to eat all that butter. You get some of that uh, Frank's wing sauce and you're going to go. To uh, all the way to one and a quarter. Give it a good mix. These are gonna be very mild wings, guys. I mean, in my family, they like mild and, and delicious, and that's what I that's what I go for every single time. See how it changed color? It's very yellow. Now it's that nice orange color. Now what you wanna do, you wanna get the wings close to each other. You can even stack them if you want there and then you're gonna shove this pot yes and I'll pour that wing sauce all over it get them a quick sauce So that saws on top. All right, so that's, that is all of the hot sauce. Now we're gonna take it out to the pit and we're just gonna set, just like you would barbecue sauce, guys. It's not hard at all. Let's go back outside. All right, guys, you coming? it in the smoker and I'm thinking about 10 maybe 12 minutes and that sauce is gonna set I'm gonna shut the lid and check them in a few minutes all right guys so we're gonna check it in 10 minutes at 250 degrees Let's see right here so it's not quite set not how I want it we're gonna go another let's go another 10 minutes and we'll check and see how it is so eight more minutes 18 minutes total at 250 degrees and look at that guys these smell they smell amazing they look amazing so let's take them inside and see what they taste like that's the best part of anything all right guys well here you have them three different styles of wings how easy was that i think the total cook time was about two hours, maybe a little bit less. The prep time was only 10 to 15 minutes, super easy. The ingredients were even easier, guys. You can find them just about anywhere that you look. Not a problem at all. But the best part is, how do they taste, guys? First up is the classic. Very good, very, very good. The classic was very delicious, very, very mild, not very heavy spicy at all. Now let's try the lemon pepper. And this is my baby girl's favorite, by the way. <laughs> very 
very, very good. And then the one that we're very curious about is the achote one, the Mexican style. They smell very good. Oh yeah, man. Yep, we'll do these again. You wanna give them a try? Yeah. All right guys, so we tried all three wings and I can honestly tell you they are all delicious. My favorite is the lemon pepper followed by the achote and the classic. These are, they're very close, man. I, I, I'd eat all of them. You know, I wouldn't say no to any other wings, but let me ask my boy. What do you think, Pop? Which one was your favorite? My favorite was the, the classic. The classic? What did you like about the classic? That it was very uh, smoky. Uh, the flavor was spot on. Um, it was nice and uh, savory. Very mild, right? It's, yeah, very... it's not, anybody can eat these wings, guys. They're, they're not gonna burn your mouth off at all. No, it has a very so, good flavor. Yeah, just uh, all of them had a very good flavor, guys. And once again, guys, thank you for taking the time to watch the Backyard Griller and then uh, stay tuned for more videos coming up. Thank you. You ready to catch a wing? Huh?